And you are in the Capital View app extra on your smartphone or tablet. Uh, we are rejoined by Representative Greg Letting from Fayetteville and Alan Kerr from Little Rock mm -hmm. alongside Roby Brock. Uh, Roby, I'll let you throw it out. Well, first of all, you guys agreed on something in the very last end of the TV show. There. Is, this a, is this a television moment, a web moment that we should <laughs> capture and immortalize? I think so. I, I think so. I think all the stars have aligned. Don't Keep you it in the archives. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. All right. On Friday, there was a legislative audit committee meeting with some pretty serious subject matter up there. Uh, an audit of the uh, division of the University of Arkansas has uh, tried to pinpoint where some shortcomings and some money came from. The testimony was from former spokesperson for the University of Arkansas, John Diamond, that he was told to uh, destroy documents. That was contradicted by Chancellor David Gerhardt. What was y'all's reaction to the meeting? Well, Representative Kerr, I'll let you react first. Well, uh, I was very concerned and very troubled by the meeting. Um, you know, they, they made it comments over and over and over again that they didn't believe that any wrongdoing or, or anything illegal had been done. But that only leaves uh, total incompetence. And um, you know, when you have that kind of money disappear, uh, it could only be either illegal or incompetence. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'd prefer, but <laughs> the, uh, uh, the fact of the matter is the money's gone. And we need to figure out uh, how to set that up to where we can have some, some uh, fail safes in place where that never happens again. Representative Letting, you represent Fayetteville. You're in the heart of that district. Yeah. I do. I've got the university in the district that I serve. I think everybody takes it seriously, uh, but I think we're also still trying to learn more about it. Uh, I think the, the chancellor was up front and asking for the audit to begin with. Uh, Mr. Diamond's comments were a little bit troubling, but uh, as they repeated today, you know, no public or private funds were lost. There's been no fraudulent activity. Nobody benefited personally from this. Uh, it does you know, how this happened, we still don't know, uh, but it's going to be interesting. I know the, the Legislative Audit Committee is going to continue to investigate this matter. I guess question, you know, I get a lot on, you know, working on stories is, you know, where's this going? So, I mean, from y'all's perspective, where, where, where are we going next? As far as? As far as, you know, what, what do you think the uh, breakdown of this audit's going to be? I mean, do you, do you expect the legislature to have to take uh, any type of, you know, recommending anything to a prosecutor or anything along those lines? Or? Well, I will tell you that before the meeting started that they made everybody um, stand up and swear oath, yep. uh, swear under or oath that they were telling the truth. So, uh, yeah, I, I think there's probably going to be some, some information turned over to the prosecutor and uh, it'll be at his discretion whether they want to follow through with it or not. We know that, that John Threat, the prosecutor up in Northwest Arkansas, mm -hmm. does, he's already uh, has staff reviewing this matter, so and we'll uh, see for, what they find. And I guess maybe from your perspective, uh, Representative mm -hmm. Letting, um, obviously a lot of people were talking about this at U of A, it's probably in the Fayetteville kind of ecosystem and now it's kind of bled out throughout the entire state. Is there any concern of how the University of Arkansas will look even, you know, within the borders, maybe outside the borders? Of the I state? think the university has its highest enrollment that it's ever had this semester. It continues to grow. Uh, it just it climbed in rankings put out by U.S. World News and Report. Uh, it's got one of the best business colleges. I think, it, and as they said today, it's in one of the best fiscal conditions that it's ever been. So I really think, you know, this, this might be a little bit of a black eye, but the University of Arkansas is still strong. So the ULM loss is worse? <laughs> <laughs> I think that I like this under oath thing. I think we yeah. ought to do that with all of our Capital View guests, too. And then when they make these outrageous claims of something politically one way or the other, we can hold them accountable. What oh, do you, no I, comment. I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> it may cut down on not people only will willing we not to appear on the program. It might. It might. It might. <laughs> might not even have a show after that, you know. <laughs> All of a sudden they can't join us, you know. All right. Well, hey, uh, that's pretty good for the app extra right there. What you got there? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, we are going to uh, wrap up the app extra. Greg Letting, uh, Alan Kerr, thanks very much for, uh, for joining Thank us. Thank you. And of course, always Sunday mornings, 830 on Channel 4, Capital View. We will see you next week. Thanks, guys.